Hi, I'm Dr. Nagat. I'm an NHS GP. Welcome to my NHS practice. I'm going to share with you how you can get testosterone therapy on the NHS. Testosterone replacement for women as part of your hormone replacement therapy as you approach perimenopause and menopause and beyond is available on the NHS for surgical menopause patients. So you've had your ovaries and your womb removed. We know from the data that 50% of your testosterone can be reduced instantly after your surgery. Now, testosterone is often thought of as purely a male hormone, but it is a naturally occurring hormone found in women as well. And unfortunately, we've always seen it as something that women need as part of their libido or sexual function. But actually, the data also now shows that it's important to have testosterone for a healthy vagina, good energy levels, strong bones and clear thinking. So your cognitive function, your va va voom, your energy is so important that you get testosterone. And for some women, it can work really well in complementing their estrogen and progesterone. At present, there are no testosterone medications specifically licensed for women in the UK. That means that all the current available preparations such as Testim, Testogel, uh, Tostran are all currently available preparations that we can use off license. We can still use these preparations as there's clear evidence that they're effective and their use has been widespread and it's been recommended by NICE guidance. The decision to start taking testosterone therapy alongside your estrogen and progesterone is based on an individual basis with your conversation between your doctor and also the symptoms that you have as well. So before starting testosterone therapy, your doctor would normally suggest a blood test to check your testosterone level. And that's done with a combination of your total testosterone and a protein level such as sex hormone binding globulin and these results give us a, a figure which is a called the free androgen index and the cutoff limit is variable for different places in our area if one, anything below 1.7 is considered low once you start testing testogel or tostran it can take up to four to six weeks to notice any improvement and usually after three months, then another blood test should be done and you have to stop using your testosterone gel at least 24 hours before your blood test. As always, with any hormone replacement therapy, the risk versus benefits has to be assessed for you on an individual basis. And there are possible side effects of testosterone therapy, so such as increased body hair at the site of application. You can get thicker body hair. Um, you might notice male patterns, sort of loss of hair on their head. And some people in notice an increased change in their skin, such as acne as well. I've not come across deepening of the voice or enlarged clitoris. That's incredibly rare. The possible prescribing of testosterone to women via the NHS is still a postcode lottery, but we are trying to improve that. Now, each area of the country has a CCB, a clinical commissioning board, which has a prescribing formulary. And if you search on the clinical commissioning board formulary, which is available via Google for your area, then search testosterone and then click on it. Then you can see who's allowed to have testosterone and it will tell you about the situation in your area. For example, this is Berkshire formulary. It says here that if you want testosterone, it has to be initiated by secondary care menopause clinic or a GP with a specialist interest in women's health or menopause. And finally, remember the NHS HRT prepayment certificate doesn't cover testosterone therapy. So Testim, Testogel, Tostaran, it will cover your estrogen and your progesterone and your vaginal estrogens, but it doesn't cover testosterone. I hope that's been helpful.